Hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. The Emirates Stadium in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular? Yeah, William. He's one of the best around when it comes to close control with pace, and that makes him an explosive dribbler at times who's very tricky to stop. He's also a very good striker of the ball, especially from free-kick situations, so the opposition will have to be careful about not giving away too many of those here. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. The action has already started. Come back to the keeper. Leno gets it upfield. Rafael Varan. Modric. Modric with the crossfield ball. Oh, he's not going to get that. It's a look promising, but eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Granit Xhaka. David Luiz, Granit Xhaka, done very well to intervene. Looks to dink one in. Oh, sweet feet. Moran with the clearance. Willian. Get that clear. Well positioned to make that interception. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and check it. Oh, a definite foul there. of a goal oh that is a bit special Madrid draw first blood here. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And here's Obami. Obami! And somehow it stayed out.
just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. It's Asa! Had everyone off their seats. That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. Sergio Ramos. Tony Kroos. Sergio Ramos. Modric. Tony Kroos. And it's Azza. Looks to thread it through. Yeah, he's fouled him there. It's been taken short. Pumps it into the area. Plenty waiting in the middle. And here's Modric. Cross! Oh, good effort. He got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. And here's Aubameyang. Out towards the flank. Partey. Tierney. Just brushed off the ball there. And now they can launch a counter. Benzema. Modric. And here's Benzema. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to go, and he didn't go for the back heel. And it's Tony Kroos. Kroos, whose goal scoring skills have already been evident. Granit Xhaka, forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. Varane goes back to base. And that is as far as they're going to go. And they've been caught out here. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Tony Kroos, Sergio Ramos, and the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. There's the start of the second half. Arsenal don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Casemiro. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Hector Bellerin, Arsenal going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. 
Hector Bellerin. Lovely bit of skill there. Partey. Gets good distance on it. Tries to dink it in. Baran is there to heave it away. And here's William. And here's Aubameyang. Hoists it forward. A oh, chance to break. Hazard drives it forward. Arsenal still trailing by one. And looking here to take it up a notch after the break. Tierney plays a clever pass. Varane tries to switch the play. Partey. Your impression so far, Jim? Arsenal have not got very long if they hope to rescue this. They're being urged forward by great home support. But they need something to go their way pretty soon, Peter. But well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Now, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Deftly done. Dangerous looking ball, and it's come to nothing. And it's played forward. Finds himself eased off the ball. Modric. Casemiro. Now it's Aubameyang. Over to the left. Now it's William. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Rafael Baran. Tony Kroos. Hoists it forward. Madrid are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. It's Azar. And he's there to clear it. Modric. Sergio Ramos. Tony Kroos. Bends him up. He's good for it. It's broken loose. Jacob with the clearance. A really good feat from him. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Hector Behrin floats one over. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to decide, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Puts in a cross. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's, it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. And the referee brings it to a close. And you can analyse to your heart's content. It won't change the outcome. They have lost the game. Your final thoughts, Jim? 
that's a fairly demoralising loss. They hardly threatened, and this was about as insipid as it comes. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input, and from us both, good afternoon.